Hello and welcome to another Thursday night mindset reset where you can take what I share, the strategies I share, and master your mindset so that you can have amazing success in your business and your life. I am Christine Parma and I am thrilled to be here with you. Tonight we are talking all about permission and frankly, that you need to stop waiting for permission to go after you want what you want and make your dreams happen. Now, on its on its uh, surface, you may not be thinking that you're waiting for permission or that you need to stop waiting for permission to do what you want. Because if you're an ambitious go-getter and you're out there, you're working on your entrepreneurial business and you're making things happen in your business, you're like, hey, Christine, what do you mean I'm waiting for permission? I'm not waiting for permission. But this is a very sneaky thing that can show up in your, really in your unconscious mind, can can be sitting down there in your unconscious mind uh, and be sabotaging you without you really being aware of it. You know, waiting, we're all trained to growing up to wait for permission. You know, it's really not your fault if that you that we have this programming. It's not your fault. It's not my fault, because we're we're raised waiting to ask for permission. We have to ask permission to go to the bathroom. You know, when we're in school or at home, we have to wait for permission. You know, or ask for permission to wear the clothes we want when you know we're growing up. We have to ask permission to go where we want to. You know, I know I did when I was growing up. I had to ask my mom permission. Hey, can I go over to so-and-so's house? Or hey, can I go to this place or this party that I want to go to? So we're, we've been conditioned to ask for permission. Does this make sense? Say yes in the comments below if it's making sense to you. Now, the problem is once we're no longer kids and we're all grown up, we're adults, that psychology is still in our minds. And I feel like a lot of what is holding people back, what keeps people hesitating to do what they want, to have the kind of business they want, to put themselves out there, you know, in being visible and growing their brand and pursuing the work that lights them up and makes them excited to do, is they're unconsciously waiting for permission for somebody to just say, yeah, it's okay for you to do that thing that you really want to do, even though it may seem crazy to somebody else. Yeah, it's, it's okay for you to, you know, go be a, a, you know, go from corporate to being a psychic who uses crystals all the time. Yes, it's okay if that's what lights you up. So my question to you is, and I'd love for you to comment, uh, whether you're catching this live or on the replay, is what are you hesitating about right now? Like in your life right now, what are you hesitating or procrastinating about doing? That can be a pretty good sign that you are waiting for some kind of permission. If there's something that has really been pulling at your heart that you want to do and you haven't done it. You haven't made that leap. You haven't taken the big step to make it happen. Are you waiting for permission? So please comment below. What are you hesitating about? And then I know there's a delay here, so I'll go to the next question. I'll come back and, and get your comments. What permission, if you're hesitating, if you sit with this for a minute, what permission do you feel like you need in order to Go after that thing that you really want that you've been hesitating around doing. You know, back when I was in corporate America, and this is over 10 years ago, um, I haven't held too many traditional jobs in my life. I think entrepreneurialism was always in my blood, or entrepreneurship. Um, I was in this job that really made me miserable. And I wanted to do something else. I lacked a lot of clarity around what I wanted to do at the time, except for I was really clear on how I wanted to feel, the values that I wanted the work I was doing to be aligned with. But I stayed in that job for way longer than, you know, in hindsight, I really should have because I didn't, I think I was 
you know, a part of me was not willing to give myself permission to just make the leap, to make the transition and to go out and discover what it was that, you know, I was supposed to be doing. Because in the back of my mind, uh, you know, I'm thinking a responsible person doesn't do that. <laughs> and I, you know, have to be a responsible person to be a good person. And all this mind junk that can happen. And, you know, it really, it took me getting to a point where I was so miserable that I almost just didn't care anymore, like what the consequence was of taking the leap, you know, and, and trying to find what that, that job or that profession, what I was supposed to do, what that was. Um, and I got to a place of really surrendering. Um, and I think, you know, in surrender, when you surrender to uh, the flow, you know, in the direction that God, the universe, the divine is trying to point you in, then you're, you're in a way releasing the need to have any permission around anything. Because you're like, okay, you know what, I'm just going to, I'm going to go with this and see where it leads. And, you know, my personal story is it led to miraculous things. I mean, my life completely, completely changed in so many amazing ways. So, you know, what permission do you feel like you need or who do you feel like you need permission from? Maybe yourself. It may be a parent or a friend, you know, unconsciously that you feel like you need permission from to go after what you want. Now, there are so many examples of people uh, who want to do, you know, maybe something creative. You know, they want to be an artist. They want to uh, be, you know, an entrepreneur. They want to be a, a, a dancer, a, you know, a professional ballet person. You know, all of these things. And the parents say, you know, back when, oh, you can't do that because that's not a real job. That's not, you know, going to, you're not going to be able to make a living at that. You're going to be a starving artist and all of these things. And so a lot of times people don't do that. They stop because they didn't get permission from their parents. And it, it may be that something was said to you a really long time ago when you were growing up or even recently where somebody said, your dream isn't valid. You know, you don't have permission to do that because responsible people don't do that. You know, good people don't do that. Or, you know, people who uh, you're never going to make money at it. All of these ways, these these things that sabotage your mindset and keep you from really stepping into your greatness and going after your dreams and making them happen and being fully committed to making them happen. Because when your energy is aligned uh, with that which you want to, want to create and you are fully committed, I think, frankly, you become unstoppable. You know, you ha may have to take these weeds, these mind weeds out of your head so you can get there, so you can kind of get over that hump. So do you feel like there is somebody who you've been waiting to get permission from? You know, it could be your mom say, you know what? You want to be a coach? Awesome for you. You know, go for it. I know you're going to help a lot of people. So comment in the comments below. Are you waiting for permission from someone or something, even if it's yourself, to actually really go for it and follow your heart and do whatever it is that lights you up? The third question I would have for you is, if you were actually doing what you loved, if you were uh, free from needing permission from anybody else, or you had all the permission that you felt, you know, unconsciously you felt like you needed, or consciously maybe, what would you do differently in your life right now? How would you act differently? What things would you do differently? You know, how would you spend your time differently? And then, as a result, how would your life be different? You know, this the fear of the unknown, of not knowing how things will turn out, can stop us cold in our tracks. Because we think, well, life is pretty good. I mean, yeah, I have this job that is high pressure or I, I'm really not happy with. But, you know, from the outside, everybody else says, gosh, you're a high achiever and you're earning a lot of money. And... Uh, you should be happy. And if you're not, then there's that conflict of the, you know, feeling like, well, I should be happy. Maybe I'm just ungrateful. And 
the conflict of really being truthful with yourself that, you know what, no matter how good that job may seem to other people, no matter how much money you're making, no matter you know how all these un- other wonderful things in your life that should make you happy, if you are truly unhappy, if you kind of really tap into yourself and you're unhappy, I feel like it's because you're on the wrong path or you're, you're sticking with something that you've outgrown. That job or that other thing may have served you for a really long time and you learned some great lessons and you grew as a result, but maybe it's ready, you know, you're ready and it's time for you to change, to change and to shift in your life and to grow, you know, take that next step to growing even more as a person and do the work that now lights you up. Just because something made you happy back when doesn't mean that it has to be the thing you keep doing forever because you're allowed to grow and hopefully you do expand, you know, and grow your soul and grow as a person so that you can, uh, I guess, really have a deeper learning experience during this lifetime and be in alignment with that which your soul is meant to do. That's how I think of it. So if you were that person who had the permission you needed to to go after your dreams and do what you wanted, what would you be doing? What is that dream that you have for yourself? Type it in the comments below. I want to hear about what lights you up. And if you're not sure (laughs) what lights you up, Sometimes we can be in that place and be, you know, in such a dark place or dark uh, spot in our lives that we don't even know what makes us happy anymore or we're confused and we don't know what lights us up. Think back to the things that you did as a kid that you were so excited about, you know, because as a, you know, kids are really uninhibited in so many ways if they're, you know, if they're not, um, tamp down their dreams and their ambitions and what they, their excitement isn't tamped down by the people around them. They really just do what makes them happy if you think about it. So what are some of the things that made you happy as a kid? I loved climbing trees. I was always up in trees and building forts and being outside and, you know, getting in the dirt and digging around um, and gardening and uh, horseback riding and traveling. All these things really lit me up. And when I think about it, those are a lot of the things I still like to do today. (laughs) You know, I love building things. I love being outside. I love traveling. And I'm blessed that uh, we have aligned, my family has aligned our lives with the things that we love to do the most, and that includes travel. And we've been doing a lot of traveling um, this past year, and and it lights us up. We are super happy when we're doing that. So what would you do differently? And then imagine, you think for a moment, when you sit with that, if you were doing those things, how would your life be different as a result? How would you feel different as a result? Would you be happy? Would you be going after your dreams and you would feel excited to get out of bed every day and you would feel excited to get on Facebook Live and do live streams and be visible because you were doing work that lit you up and you were excited to share your message? Would you uh, more easily overcome the that procrastination that you feel around doing things? Because procrastination is a really big sign that either that's something you don't need to be doing or that uh, it's something that you do need to be doing, but it scares you a little bit, so you procrastinate about it because it's pushing the boundary of your comfort zone and pushing you to grow as a person. So those are the questions I have for you. Please type them in the comments. Rewind the video if you need to on the replay. Type them in the comments below because I want to hear what your dreams are and what it is that you need to do differently to make them happen. Because honey, nobody is going to give you all the permission you need except for yourself. I can sit here and say, you have my permission to go after your dreams. You have my permission to be lit up and excited every day about the work you're doing and just the life that you have. You have permission, permission, permission. 
but ultimately you are the one who has to give yourself permission to be unchained from all of any expectations or uh, responsibilities that people have, other people have heaped on you and decide to claim your life for yourself and do the things that you're passionate about and which make you happy. Because you know what? That is how you make your contribution in the world. When you are excited and happy and fulfilled in doing the work you love, that is how you change the world, starting with you and your family and your friends and your community and the people that you work with. And you send out ripples of goodness all throughout the world. And just a short comment on that, the world needs a lot of that, a lot more of you being in your power, being lit up, being excited, and being and spreading the positive energy. The world needs it so much right now. So I encourage you to go out there and shine as brilliantly as you can right now by getting in alignment with that which your heart is telling you to do and give yourself permission to do that. So if you liked this video, I would be so honored if you would share it with your community, with your friends. Maybe somebody out there really needs to hear this message right now. Maybe it's one of your friends and by sharing it, you will help make their day, their life better. You never know. One message can change a life. I know it did with mine. God set me on a whole new path. One message. Um, the second thing is, please, so, after, you know, please share it. And then come on over if you are an ambitious woman who is dedicated to shining your light and living your passion and making your dreams happen, come on over and join me in the Successful Women Entrepreneurs Group on Facebook. This is a community of women who are dedicated to making their dreams happen, whatever their dream is, whatever dream is right for you and for them. They are uh, committed to making their dreams happen and building wildly successful businesses around that so that they can do more of what truly matters. Uh, to them. So join the Successful Women Entrepreneurs Group. You can look it up on Facebook or just comment uh, below and I will uh, send you the link to that. Lastly, if you would like to get notifications via Facebook Messenger of when I go live so you don't miss any of this good stuff that I'm bringing, please type sub me or subscribe in the comments below and you'll get an automated message into your Facebook a messenger inbox so that you will be subscribed and I will just send you reminders of when I'm going live with the training and other opportunities to get free training and awesome resources from me. So just type sub me below. And oh my gosh, if you don't know who I am, I am Christine Parma. You can find out more about me at christineparma.com and I help ambitious women build wildly successful businesses they love and lives they love even more. Because in the end, that's what it's about. It's about having a life you love and doing work that you feel matters and is an, uh, aligned with your soul's purpose. So you can find out how I roll over at christineparma.com. Let me know the answers to those questions I asked you. I want to hear from you and I want you to take that step of giving yourself permission to go after everything you want in life. Everything. Because you deserve it. You deserve it. So that is all for tonight. I wish you amazing success in your business and your life. And as always, shine your light brilliantly.